partition is used to transfer web content from one HCL portal environment to another. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to set up a syndication relationship between two environments and syndicate a web content library. Now, before I begin, I need to first make sure I have the appropriate configuration set up in place. Reviewing the portal documentation, I can see the requirements and limitations. In my case, I have two Portal 9.5 CF184 environments, so I don't need to worry about cross-version syndication. My library will be a small test library, so I should have enough disk and memory space. Both my subscriber and my syndicator are on the same network using the same DNS server, and I have the firewall configured so they're able to communicate directly with each other. The library I'm going to syndicate does not already exist on my subscriber. Finally, one last note. This isn't a requirement, but more a good to know. The library user access permissions are not syndicated over. The desired user permissions need to be configured after syndication on the subscriber. Again, in my case, it's just a test library, but in a real world scenario, like from an authoring environment to a staging environment, I would need to set the appropriate permissions afterwards. Okay, let's begin. As mentioned previously, I have a couple of 9.5 CF184 environments. One is my authoring and the other is my rendering environment. For this video, I will syndicate a Wickham library from my authoring to my rendering environment. So my authoring server will be the syndicator and my rendering server will be the subscriber. Here's my authoring environment. If I navigate to the Wickham libraries, you can see I have created the syndication demo library. This is the library I want to syndicate over. Moving to my rendering environment, I can see that I don't have the syndication demo library on this server. So following the steps in the doc, I need to first set up a shared credential vault slot on my subscriber so I can access the syndicator server. So on my rendering server, I'll go to the portal administration, security, credential vault, and add a vault slot. For this demo, I'm using the portal administrator user ID and password of my syndicator or authoring server. However, you can use any user as long as the user exists on the syndicator, the user has administrator access to the Wickham REST service virtual resource, and the user has administrator access on the content root, which is set by using the set access on root button in the web content libraries portlet. With that done, I need to go to the subscribers portlet and create my syndication relationship by clicking on the subscribe now button. The text fields in this dialog are pretty straightforward. My syndicator URL will be my authoring host name and port with the portal and Wickham contents root. I'll use authoring syndicator and rendering subscriber as the names. And then I need to select the credential vault slot, which I just created. And since it's the only one I have in this environment, it's already selected. This next dialog lets me choose how I want to syndicate. The configured option lets you specify the options in the Wickham config service. The automatic option is scheduled automatically based on your syndication interval, which you configure. And the manual option only syndicates when requested using the administration portlet. I'm going to use the manual option and deselect the update syndication when the pair is created so nothing is automatically done for me. Clicking on next, I'm presented with the libraries available to syndicate from my authoring or syndicator server. I can see the syndication demo library, so I'll select it, but I need to choose which syndication mode to use. Now you can refer to the product documentation for the specifics, but the short of it is published items syndicate published and expired content. All items include everything from published items, but also include drafts and projects and all items and versions include everything from all items, but also include versions and deleted items. Normally you would only select the all items and versions when you're syndicating between two authoring environments. For my simple case, I'm going to use the publish items and then I'll click finish. With that done, 
the syndication relationship has been created. Here on my rendering or, or subscriber, I will see it within the web content subscriber portal. And if I check on my authoring or syndicator, I should see it under the web content syndicators portal. Now to perform the actual syndication. Since I chose manual, I can click on the update button to perform the syndication. I have the option to perform an update or a rebuild. You can refer to the table back in the product documentation to see exactly what is syndicated with each option. But in my case, I'll just use update and kick off my syndication. Depending on the library size, syndication can take anywhere from a few seconds to hours. You can use the refresh button to check the status. Once it's complete, I can see the summary by clicking here under the last update column. Now, if I go to the web contents library portlet, I can see my new syndication demo library in my rendering environment. This concludes this video on setting up a syndication relationship on HCL Portal 9.5 CF184.